Cincinnati at Arizona. Is this the week that Joe Burrow gets it together and this Cincinnati offense breaks out? Well, so Joe Burrow is saying that every day his calf's feeling better and better and that he has faith that he's going to be able to turn it around. But what we see on paper, on film, is that that just doesn't look like it's going to be the case. I think you look back at last week where he said that he felt really good on the Friday going into the game. And then they can't put him on the center because they're so worried about him. The ball is coming out at a very quick pace, but Joe Burrow's average depth of target is the second lowest at 6.4 yards. That's identical to Justin Herbert's last year when Justin Herbert was playing through an injury. We've seen this with quarterbacks when they can't lean through it, when they're dealing with injuries, when they can't push down in the same way in their legs, then it leads to these dink and dunk plays. And that just isn't productive. We saw Jamar Chase complaining, saying he's always open. But when we have to bring Jamar Chase back towards the line of scrimmage, of course he's going to be a less effective receiver because he's got to get through so many more defenders. The Cardinals' defense ranks 30th in defensive DVOA. I think the only surprise there is that they're not last. You know, coming into this year on paper, they looked like a horrendous defense. But the Bengals are a horrendous offense at the minute. You look at virtually any metric in terms of scoring, in terms of drive success, in terms of efficiency and they're right down towards the bottom joe burrow is qb 44 jamar chase is wide receiver 23 joe mixon is running back 25 so i think this game if i was going to lean into any of them it would possibly be joe mixon i think that he can probably have an okay game against this cardinals defense but we've seen the cardinals over the last few weeks they've just been spicy than expected they've stayed in games they've been frisky josh dobbs is the qb 15 at the minute hollywood brown is the wide receiver 19 and james connor's running back 22 with connor though it is worth noting that he's losing some of the passing down work he's his root run percentage has dropped from 76 percent in week one and it hasn't been over 50% since. I can't remember the name of the back running back. I can't pronounce his surname. It was uh, Kendry Miller's backup in TCU. But one. he's been getting on the field more often. So, yeah, generally, I think this one is probably going to be a low-scoring affair. But I wouldn't be surprised to see Joe Burrow take a slight step forward. Yeah, I, I love Joe Mixon this week. He's a top five back for me in my weekly ranks. I think that he's he's someone that, you know, I think you just got to plug and play and, and hope that this Cincinnati offense is going to run through him whilst Joe Burrow is getting healthy. We had a fantastic question from Lewis in our Discord earlier that I, I thought was worth a chat on, on the show. He was basically saying, I'm a contender in Dynasty. I've got Joe Burrow. I don't want to sell low because his value is lower than where it was at the beginning of the offseason, and he's going to rebound. But I'm I'm losing va- I'm losing points every week because I'm having to start Joe Burrow. Do you think there's an argument to sell low and, and just kind of get out whilst you can? Or like I said in the Discord, I advise just hold it. Hopefully you're good enough to make the playoffs when Joe Burrow is going to come good. I think selling Joe Burrow low and knowing you're selling Joe Burrow low, it's going to be the kind of decision which you really regret quite quickly because within two months, his value will be back to where it is. This isn't this isn't an ACL injury. This isn't an Achilles injury. It's a calf injury. Like He will get better over time. They have a bye week coming up, not this week or maybe even not next week, but one after that. And it wouldn't be surprised to see him get back to you know, being his old self within three or four weeks. I would still need a very good deal to sell Joe Burrow in Dynasty. But I think if somebody comes to you with the right kind of deal where you're not giving up a huge amount and you get a player that is going to help you challenge this year, perhaps. But I'd rather keep Joe Burrow and know that my quarterback position is going to be safe virtually every year for the next 10 years. Yeah, I think the good thing with Dynasty is that hopefully if, if you're good enough and if you are a true contender, you can get by with Joe Burrow for the next few weeks and, and hopefully when he's healthy, he'll be at there. 